For any IQA, it's very important that you create and promote and you update uh, a meeting plan. So a meeting plan is plotting uh, where you are going to meet uh, with your team, okay? Meeting uh, plans can often be created on perhaps uh, an Excel spreadsheet, okay? They can be held centrally uh, within your organisation and they can, of course, be updated by you. In terms of the meeting, they're a fantastic way of promoting standardisation. You can uh, promote um, uh, key visit dates. You can also uh, talk about any concerns about learners. You could talk about achievements that the staff, uh, your colleagues have, have achieved. Um, so what's going well for your, your company? So of course, uh, having team meetings, whether in, in, in person, of course, or over uh, Zoom or Teams is, is absolutely crucial, okay? Without team meetings, then uh, there'll be less standardization and uh, you know your staff members won't be able to, to be on track uh, with where the company, where the school or college is going as one. So meetings are very important. And for you as an IQA, you need to demonstrate that you can create uh, a meeting plan as well. Here behind me, we have an example of uh, a meeting plan, okay? And we have, of course, the, the dates here, okay? We have uh, a column in yellow. This is the general team meeting. So these aren't standardization meetings, but these are our, our, our monthly uh, team meetings where the team will meet together uh, just to discuss the general topics uh, here at TrainAid, such as course numbers, uh, key dates as well. However, we also have uh, lots of courses here at TrainAid, so therefore we have standardisation dates as well. So we have uh, standardisation for one of our courses, the one that we're monitoring for the IQA portfolio, the Level 3 Award in Education and Training, we also have a uh, first aid standardization events and finally assessor training and standardization meetings. So for your um, IQA portfolio, you can create uh, your own meeting plan on perhaps Word or uh, an Excel spreadsheet. You can, of course, use uh, the train aid templates uh, as a guide when completing your, your meeting plan. That's absolutely fine. And also, very importantly, if you wish to put your standardisation um, meeting events on the same spreadsheet, that will also meet criteria five, which I'll come on to shortly. So the meeting plan could look like this and the level of detail is, is very much down to for you to decide. But to meet criteria four, we're looking for you to, to plan uh, some general team meeting dates, okay? And we'd also like for you to clearly show what is going to be discussed um, at the, the meeting. So what is the meeting going to be on, whether it's a team meeting or a standardization meeting and perhaps a title of your course by example. The meeting plan should be no more than one page, okay? And um, this can be submitted once again as an Excel uh, spreadsheet or a Word document or any table your organization uses. Please do have a look in textbook pages uh, 40 to 41, which shows uh, an example of a meeting and standardization plan. So do have a look at that as another source of information.